me show you what happens if I plug in a very high load. Charging is very easy. I just plugged in that uh, solar panel from Jackery 100 watts into this battery bank and it's getting about 50 watts. The railway allows me to power a lot of electronics at the same time. The MacBook, cable type C port, a large power bank from Basis, iPad camera batteries. If I ran out of ports, I can always plug in a power strip like this and charge even more devices. The what battery bank currently connected a MacBook. Battery packs. GoPros currently not connected. Battery packs. iPad M1. Take a look at the screen for the input information, the 37 watts input and 46 watts output. So the solar panel offsets the power consumption. I can of course daisy chain another one. I'm trying to daisy chain to 100 watts Jackery solar panel and see if we'll increase the power output. But it looks like it's not gonna take it. It's, um, I think that exceeds the maximum power intake. You can only take one 100 watts solar panel. So if you want to buy this um, power station, 100 watts solar panel is probably sufficient. All right, let's take it indoor and do a more detailed analysis and a close up. Let me give you a few more details of this battery bag. It comes with two flashlights. One is in there, still charging. A 90 watts power strip, power adapter for recharging by plugging in here. The same one used in the solar charging test. The design is pretty neat. There is also a wireless charging pad on top, a carrying handle. If I place my iPhone 11 on top and it starts, starts charging immediately. So you can see that's the wireless charging. And USB power is on. By pressing and hold the button, you'll be able to switch it on and off. Power delivery 60 watts max from the type C output to my laptop. You can uh, pay attention to that uh, number on the screen. It is rated at 60 watts, so uh, it will be more than enough to charge the MacBook Pro 13 inch. But to really max out that board, I'm gonna use a Jackery for the test. It will take about 50 watts. Additionally, you can use these uh, three other USB Type-A for charging other devices, such as a, another power bank. So use the DC part to you know, get even more ports. And the fan kicks in now we're averaging 80 watts. This is the flashlight. And you can see the jack tree input is 51 watts. Not the brightest idea to use one battery bank to charge the other one, but um, that is the test. Just to max out the total output. There are two contact points in the back of the flashlight. So if you put it back, it will immediately start recharging. And there is a Type-C input, so you can also charge it by using something like this. And this thing charges at about 2 watts. Let me show you what happens if I plug in a very high load. 
Reverb Pro that will take around six, 700 watts. And you can see the output from here. Let me enable the AC outlet. And uh, the, this unit will start recharging from this battery bank, a smaller battery bank. The, keep in mind, the total power consumption cannot exceed 300 watts. There is no fuse to replace. Uh, let's see what happens. This is actually the first time I'm doing this test. Okay, now it already passed 300 watts, 400. Now it, it stopped. Uh, there is the icon flashing, indicating there is the overload, right? So the AC uh, power cut off automatically. Now I can easily bring it back. So there is no concern there. This is like a stress testing. It's, it handled it beautifully and that is a very very nice safety feature okay now it's cut off again so you have to disconnect the high load so yeah no fuse to replace that's the beauty of this thing um, I think the protection wise it's done a great job uh, have this cutoff built in and you don't have to worry about damaging the device if you accidentally you know plugged in something you should not so yeah, keep the load under 300 watts and you can handle three, 600 watts peak according to the user manual. So yeah, I can highly recommend this thing due to its safety features and wireless charging, flashlights, and um, all these ports and power delivery. Yeah, that charges the laptop directly through the uh, DC power. You always want to access the DC um, as a, pro a priority, right? If you can use power delivery, you know, don't use the uh, AC ports if necessary to maximize its efficiency. All right, thank you very much for watching. I hope you find this review helpful.